Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The date is April 19th, 2023. It's Wednesday. We are dead smack in the middle of the trading week. All right, let's talk about FFIE, guys. Let's talk about Faraday Future Intelligent Electric. This company has had its lumps. It has taken its lumps. It has had its ups and downs, mostly downs recently. Well, in the last month or two, it has had some progress to report, right? But it's been a mixed bag, right? They they did the uh, they started their production March 20th, March 30th or so, and they promised or they said that they would have cars rolling off or rolling off the assembly line and into the streets and into the the possession of people who put down their first um their pre-orders by late April. Well, we're we're approaching late April. And so a couple of uh, about a week back an article came out that said that that date of the the late April date is not going to happen. Not it's it's a little bit back on schedule. It's a little bit delayed. And so it's looking more like June now. Late May, June. All right, so in that in that time, that time frame, which is absolutely fine. Um, it's fine if you if you initially believe in the idea, the logical, common sense approach to thinking about this stock and its potential. Um, this setback should not change that. It, it certainly doesn't change it for me. All it does is delay something that. As long as they continue on the, like I said, as long as they continue on their trajectory, as long as they keep going forward, and they did complete their first car the other day, it did nothing to the stock price. And like I said before in the other in the other video, people want to see real proof. They don't want to see one vehicle. They want to see a flow. This is a company with the history of a lot of stops, stops and starts. This is a company that had a lot of um, hype in the beginning. Even billed at one point, even called the Tesla killer, which is actually unfair. It's like a, a rookie coming out of high school and say, you're gonna be the next LeBron. You don't really wanna do that because you bring the, the expectations too high. But anyway, every journey starts with a step. They're coming through with their small steps. The production date, they finished their first vehicle and you know they're, they're putting up these videos and they're showing some of the, the footage of these things going on if you believe in this company and we as fellow shareholders stockholders co-owners of FFIE if we're if you're in it if you're invested in it you believe in it you believe that there's a potential here to make some money so we're in it and I'm uh, I was just saying this before, I should have actually said this on the top of this video, but of course you know I am not a financial advisor, have never been, never will be, but I'm giving my opinion on this and my logical perspective because this company has a lot of potential. Now, not everything looks great, you know, when, when, especially when you're getting in on like a ground floor level like this, right? I mean, I don't care what your average is right now. Say you bought the say you bought the stock back when it went up to like a dollar something a few months ago, and you're in underwater, right? You're still on the ground floor because if this stock does eventually do what it's doing, or not this stock particularly, but if this company does what we believe it can do, then a dollar average is not bad at all. I'll tell you that. All right. Um, so just don't be dismayed. Like I, what I'm trying to say is that all of the fundamentals of what we're looking at, when we're looking at a company that actually is still starting up, it's really hard to do this. Even Tesla itself, even the great companies faced the adversity. At one point, I think Elon Musk said he had to choose, um, he, there was, a, there was a time when he had to make a decision between SpaceX and Tesla. And he said, well, you know what? If I save this one, the other one's going to die. 
And he said, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just try to keep both of them. And Because they were both at a point where they could have, SpaceX could have died off. I mean, could have went out of business and Tesla as well. But he stuck with, he stuck with it. And um, Tesla is paving a way for a lot of these, these, these um, companies coming up. And as this is a new wave, we're, we're going into, there's, there's no reversing this anymore. We're going to be um, a civilization that's doing away with these, these clunkers and using oil and these, these different kinds of gasoline cars. Those things are over. Faraday is part of that future, I believe. Um, don't be dismayed. Do not put your money in this. If you don't, don't put your rent in this. Don't put your mortgage in this. Again, that's I, I That's that's my advice to you. Okay, that's my advice to you. Um, a lot of these gems, a lot of these gems, do not look great at first. The price action does not look great. I've seen analysis on this on this stock. The charts don't look great. But guess what? When you look at price action, these are lagging indicators, meaning they're telling you what happened in the past. They don't tell you what's going to happen. And I don't care how good you are at reading indicators and everything, you don't know what's going on with the stock going forward. The, the, the charts don't know that there's production happening. The charts don't know that if these vehicles do come out and they're rolled out in June and they're starting to be bought that this this company is going to take off. Remember this. So financial freedom is available to those who learn about it and work for it. That was said by Robert Kiyosaki. So do your own research. Use common sense. And this has just been a logical perspective. Go out there and have a tremendous day. Thank you.